Hey guys, Lego Brick Man Productions here, and we will be continuing our Lego Batman 3. Well, my Lego Batman 3. Uh, the adventure continues, my gosh. Beyond Gotham walkthrough. I was about to say that. But yeah, so that's Indiana Jones 2, which I'm also conveniently working on. Uh, I've sort of taken a break from that since I've done all the levels, and um, I've recorded a lot of the stuff for the other. The, like, going back to the 100%ing stuff, basically, for the hubs. But, yeah, so, um, for this, this is basically the story clip, and, yeah, it's just this... Just killer Crockett had a plate on his head. But, yeah, so what happened here is he actually got blown back to his, uh, well, home planet of his lantern, not his home planet. That would be Earth. And, uh, again, this is really self-explanatory. There's ghost studs leading you exactly where you need to go. And you don't have to do anything, I think. You just have to walk into it. But yeah, uh, this is actually the shortest level I have recorded uh, so far for this. Um, I'm, I apologize. The shortest level so far out of the ones like the end times. It's tw 12 minutes. So, 12 minutes and 9 seconds. So, yeah. 0.07. That is the shortest so far. The longest one was the third level. And I think some of the, like, one of them might be this time. And this is, uh... I don't know, it's pretty interesting, since they usually take longer. But yeah, there's these really long story clips again. And um, they, uh, they're they crash, they're gonna crash. So, um, yeah, they, they end up landing in Gotham, which you get to play in mini Gotham in the next level, uh, which is Little Trouble, Big Trouble in Little Gotham, which reminds me of one of the levels from the first Lego Batman game, which is Little Fun at the Big Top. There's either that or the other way around. But, yeah. So, basically, what happened with the other guys, the other lanterns that were in there, they got blown back to their home planets. And, yeah, they'll talk about that a bit later, but I'm just sort of explaining that now. And now we get to play as the guys here. And, of course, that would be amazing if that actually existed. But, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. And the funny thing is I actually have that set. So, yeah. I guess they had to. They needed an excuse to why the Eiffel Tower would be like small compared to stuff. So yeah. And there's also a joke. If any of you guys have seen the third Superman movie, which yes, it's not very good, um, which comes in later, but this just reminded me of that. Um, what's it called? Not the Quest for Peace. It's the one with the hacker guy. And um, Brainiac's here. Oh, he pops out of the frame. Nice cities but yeah and i don't really know why they like had to like actually mold those three like pink circle things i i don't get why they wouldn't just like have them printed on it's just kind of weird all you have to do is yep and he says i'm batman in french all you have to do is punch through that and then we're gonna get to unlock a new batman suit which is what everyone wants i believe this is the last batman suit i'm not sure though I mean, they still, they still are a match. Honestly, Superman could fly, so I'm not really sure why he's got to go through all this stuff. But yeah, um, you just got to laser these things off here. And then you'll unlock it. And there's these Brainiac goons get really annoying, especially in this level. They get really annoying. So yeah, now we've got all the Batman suits, so that's pretty cool, I guess. And um, half of these suits are actually came in sets or were physically produced before and all you've got to do here is go up to these orange things punch them and then batman will be able to get across even though wonder woman and superman can just fly across uh however you do need batman obviously to blow that truck up um so yeah and what he's doing if you guys didn't notice is he's sort of going around and you you might be going wait like plot hole why was that why is that truck big compared to everything else he he he's supersizing certain things to make obstacles and they, they didn't really show that one that well um, but yeah, and that's the restaurant they were in from the third level, which is also in the, the trailer for the game, um, where they're, you know, the Wonder Woman and Superman are eating or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so just grapple it down, and there's some more fighting going on, which I speed through because, well, I'm not going to skip it, obviously, I, I don't know, I'm trying, I think it's a good balance between skipping it, but I, I don't, I wouldn't want to, you know, I know it doesn't take that long, but I, I wouldn't want to watch, you know. Because it takes a decent amount of time. This is sped up times five. So this would take five times the length of this to do that. And that'd be boring. But I think you guys might still want to see some of it. Okay, so that guy just randomly got beat up. Superman's all proud of himself. And yeah, now he's flying away, laser and more stuff. Oh no. And I really wish they... <laughs> Wonder Woman was trying to stop them. That is a really obnoxious noise. And she can fly, yeah, so. 
now it is a tiny thing. And that reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean Quattro with all the like ships in a bottle. I almost forgot about that, but they actually made a set based off of it. The smallest, either the smallest Pirates of the Caribbean set, like not Polybang or anything, um, or one of the smallest was a set for the fourth movie, which was the Captain's Quarters of, what's it called? Queen Anne's Revenge. Um, I, I like I have the set, so I, I just looked up at it, and of Queen Anne's Revenge, where he has all the bottles, and I remember that it came with some of the goons, and that was the line where they introduced the um. <laughs> um, that also might be a reference to the third movie, which the the name is escaping me right now. Um, or no, I can't remember. Whatever movie he he did something in the subway. Um, you just gotta pull that down right there, and yeah. So I can't think of the name it's superman 3 4 is the quest for peace um and you just gotta break that barrier there um not break it just walk through it and then that stuff will happen so yeah and then you gotta use batman's detective skills which honestly i think should be on like his normal suit i don't think you should have to change to a certain suit to do it and you've gotta laser it right there and laser it down so yeah and then you can go through that and uh, over here he supersizes his telephone booth thing um which i keep thinking of harry potter and the order of the phoenix well um, the entrance to the to visitor entrance to the ministry of magic i believe um which i still don't know why they need a visitor entrance instead of just going through the toilets but i, I guess i mean they, they might want to differentiate between those two and what next probably change into his electricity suit and they're little police cars you're probably stomping on a, a bunch of people too which is kind of interesting <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I recently, um, I know I said this in another video, but I hooked up an Xbox remote to this, and what I like about that is, um, using the triggers, you can toggle between suits without having to press anything. And while sometimes it's helpful to, like, actually look through the suits, it's definitely helpful if you're just one or two suits away from the one that you need. Uh, so yeah, now we've got, uh, telephone, um, booth, debris, uh, did I really just say debris? Debris! No I, my apologize. No one! And his voice crack there a bit so yeah that's no one i don't know whatever but yeah i guess that's part of the thing and i remember when i first heard the trailer for the uh for the teaser trailer no was it the trailer no this i think must have been the teaser or whatever where it's just batman doing some narration and um he's he, they're in space or whatever and um what happens is uh i don't know you can hear pretty x voice from somewhere where either that or Actually shows him in his vehicle, and I remember it's like, wow, his voice is interesting. But I actually, I like it. I don't know why I didn't like it in the beginning. I was like, oh, it's really, like, space nerdy, which is funny because that's a line that the Flash says. He says, oh, so you're like an evil space nerd, basically. Um, but yeah. You just gotta destroy these two things there and there. And then you can switch into none other than your electricity suit. And you can build it up there, too. And there should be like a Flash Batman suit. That would be this, the dumbest thing ever. But I mean, it'd be cool, but it'd be stupid. Um. So yeah, then you can open the the gate. I guess I, that didn't make too much sense. Uh. But yeah, Brainiac's going to shrink the powers. Yep. So rich with history, something that would most definitely appeal to him. And so yeah, I speed punch through twenty guys because yeah, I'm just that good, I guess. Um. But yeah, punch. And now it cuts to another clip, once again, of the 21st guy get, getting beat up or something. And that, no, <laughs> that was a really delayed reaction, but the Batman thing didn't pull off. Um, but yeah, now he's shrunk another city, and Batman's taking it. I'm pretty sure by Batman tilting it, it would just, you know, disorient like a, a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, that was an interesting joke. Yeah, well, there's really obnoxious noises. And... <laughs> this sound effect this is the reference to the third superman uh movie which is funny and he knocks it sideways again and i was so happy when i saw that because um well the funny thing was um i don't think i recognized that i'm not sure did i reckon i must not have recognized that at first because i i had seen the um the third movie I got a pack of, um, the, like, not all five movies, but the four and then the, the 2006 movie um, within that. So, not Man of Steel. But, yeah, so all of those. And um, I had seen the first, second one, and then the 2006 one. But I had not seen... And you can only hit him with the battering. Um, well, and Wonder Woman's tiara. 
I, I think I tried to go up there and punch him with Superman, but it didn't work. And you just gotta speed beat up these guys here. Which may be why this level's not taking as long, I guess. <laughs> Laser. And I got shrunked in. Shrunk in. Yeah. But. Yeah, I bet like a minute that this is just gonna be stinking story clips. But yeah, and um, surprisingly enough, Superman can build with super speed, which I find really cool. Because A, it's really helpful. Because whenever I can, I try to use those guys. And now he, he shrunk himself. I don't know why we have to shrink him for him to get hit. But, I don't know, it doesn't really make too much sense. Um, but yeah, and it, the number of guys increases by, like, um, an amount. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention before, maybe eight, something like that. But yeah, you gotta do a lot of beating up these guys. And, there we go. Kill the last one, and then he, uh, makes this stand bigger. Smashes it on there. And this is actually going to be about a minute of story clips. Unfortunately, there's just so many. And now I can switch to Wonder Woman. And, oh, well, whatever, I can switch to either one of these guys. Yep, about a minute uh, of story clips. So, yeah, a uh, little ice cream truck. <laughs> Stereotypical. And this makes no sense at all. Was Why would, oh, my God. But, yeah, keep thinking of that Eiffel Tower reference, because um, what he does in the movie is he, um, it shows these people selling merchandise of the Eiffel Tower or whatever. Or the, oh my god, I was saying the Eiffel Tower. Sorry, the Leaning Tower of Pisa or whatever. And basically, um, they have all the merchandise. And he goes back and fixes it so it's up straight. Because he's all weird. And then they change all their merchandise back to the, the normal standing tower of Pisa. And then and then he hits it over again. So uh, then they have to change all their merchandise. But anyway, guys, yeah, clever punny name. Ha ha ha. Anyway, guys, right now this is LEGO Brick Fan Productions. Signing out.